Okay. No longer muted. Yippee! 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 Hello, everybody! Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> Good morning, everybody! Hello! Welcome! Welcome! Leah Amber! First, it's our first one-on-one -on -one collab, I think. Yeah, wait, actually, we collabed years ago. <laughs> oh, we, we collabed years ago. You're it's right, so you're right. Long. That means we're fated to be. What does that say? Say oh. hi, Ember. Hi. Say hi, Ember. Say hi, Ember. <laughs> I wasn't sure how close we were going to be to the to the middle of this thing, so I, I made it really far away. But then, no, this is just for easy viewing. It's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I lean over here, I'm closer to Leah. Yeah, I'll lean this way. <laughs> <laughs> and hi! Today we're gonna... Howdy! Howdy! Um, howdy! We're fashioning today. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Please dress me up. I'm tired of being homeless. Home? Yo! Okay. Ember sent me all of her stuff. It does not look homeless. It looks very chic. She's like, Just... Please make me more chic. I'm like... You don't understand the stuff that I sent you was if I were to go outside. <laughs> what I really wear? I, I, I made an initial mood board and I was like, I'm going to send Leah this. And I was like, wait, I can't send Leah this. It's just hoodies and pajamas. Okay, but if you're just at home, like who's going to see you? Does it matter? I have been mm -hmm. wearing the same hoodie, like the same, the same Nike hoodie. And the same, like, <laughs> boxer briefs for, like, three days now. Nobody, nobody You're... knows. <laughs> you just... Imagine the smell! No! The smell! Marinating! No! <laughs> Don't encourage the chat to say that! Smell. Stop it! I can't believe you just admitted that. No! <laughs> no your... Your panties? Your boxer briefs? You what? haven't no. changed in three days? No, 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 no. I don't wear them as underwear. I wear them as shorts. Ah. Yeah. Okay. See? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mega yeah, yeah. tensai. I wear them as like shorts, like underskirts and stuff. <laughs> safety shorts. Because I don't want to buy like designated safety shorts. So I'm like, yeah, boxer briefs will do the trick. But I don't wear them oh. as underwear. I'm, I guess it's like I'm wearing two pairs of underwear. Wait, I don't want to tell the internet that. Fuck! <laughs> Safety, safety face. <laughs> no, oh, god damn it! Self report. <laughs> <laughs> I buy all of my skirts, and almost all of them have shorts built in. Yeah. <laughs> because you never know when you need a roundhouse kick somebody. Exactly. I I didn't realize that like every skirt I buy from like overseas comes with shorts in it. But the yeah. biggest pet peeve ever is that I wear my skirts really high up on my waist. <gasps> and sometimes, like, because of the shorts, I can't, like, wear it where I want it. So That's then... Like a mini skirt. No, I mean, I mean, it's not always a mini skirt. You know? Do you, do you have long legs? Um, m maybe? You, I can tell. I can just tell from one look. You're blessed with long legs. I, I, I don't I don't know about that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> She's eleganza maxed out. What is that? Is this another Zubuma phone? <laughs> I don't wanna say oh it. I'm sure my, my phone God. is gonna levitate. <laughs> I asked Leah. I was like, Leah, because we were talking about like going to the zoo and stuff and <laughs> I was like, yeah, like having a pet lemur would be cool, like Zabumafu. I thought pet Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought King Julian, but <laughs> and then she's like, what Zabumafu? Like, I feel like my furniture's floating. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're putting an ancient curse on my family. <laughs> Zabumafu, Zabumafu, Zabumafu. <laughs> and my house is taking off to outer space. <laughs> King Julian curse the boom of voice. <laughs> King Julian, why is my furniture floating? I love King Julian. <laughs> I felt so old. <laughs> the generational 
dog up. But I mean, you saw Madagascar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad when was Mad Madagascar? It was like the same time as Ice Age. That was released in oh, 2005. Ah, uh, are you sure? I, I thought it came out in like 2010. 2000. Ice Age movie. Ice Age 2002. I thought that also came out in 2010. To be fair, I thought the Xbox 360 was still the latest Xbox for the longest time. No, it's the time the... is a construct. You Wait, know? do they even make Xbox consoles anymore? Exactly. I don't... <laughs> Hold on, I have to think about this. I thought they stopped. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Xbox 360 is the latest 360. <laughs> Does anybody even own an Xbox anymore? Like, what the? Does anyone even own a PS5? If you do, you're probably rich. <laughs> <laughs> I only know one person with a PS5 and it's Tenma. Right. <laughs> I don't even know how you get your hands on those. I wow. mean, to be honest, so I I got a PS4 so I could play Bloodborne, and I played Bloodborne, and Ooh. I got skill diffed really hard, and I never touched it again. You know, maybe it'll come out on the PC one day. Maybe you were a PC gamer all along. I was meant to play Bloodborne with the keyboard and mouse. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's my to my calling. Yeah, if if it ever comes out on PC. Is it not like a running joke? Oh yeah, it'll come out on PC this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, just wait. Just wait till next year. What the fuck is a Dreamcast? <laughs> a Dreamcast, my beloved. What is that? Uh, a Dreamcast was a... Like a Sega console. When did it come out? <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Magnum, thank you for the... The Supa! <laughs> I'll buy your PS4 and Bloodborne. <laughs> Yeah! I'll, I'll, I'll Xbox 362. Well, I don't have an Xbox 360. You will now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll auction off my my PS4 with Bloodborne and um a completely untouched, unopened copy of Persona 5: The Royal. Oh my God. I also have an unopened <laughs> copy of Persona 5. It's because they released it on PC, and I was like, well, damn, why am I going to freaking own this if it's just on PC? But then I forgot to return it. I was it's like... I never... It was gifted to me before I ever got a... Thank you. Like a PS4. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um... If you would like my extra copy of Persona 5, <laughs> you can keep Persona. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you know what console we need to bring back into the mainstream? GameCube. Okay, GameCube. Yes. <laughs> but also the PlayStation Portable. Oh, those ones had so many good visual novels. Right? So many VMs. Bring it back, please. I want mm. I want to carry around my PSP with a bunch of different little keychains on it and yes. play play Persona 4 again, enjoy life. It had it it just looked stylish, you know. It was it like did. the cool girl thing to have, a PSP, a PSP with diabolic lovers installed. <laughs> <Be -cha -cha. laughs> no! Who was your who was your favorite? Thank you. Who was your favorite? As if I don't still collect Diabolic Lovers <laughs> merchandise. Ember, you silly goose. The, I saw this tweet. Favorite. That was like the crush you get on a fictional character when you're around the age of 13 is a crush that you'll have for the rest of your life. And as I just bought more Sakamaki Reiji merchandise, I can confirm this is true. <laughs> Are He's you... fucking blue. Okay, you know what? We should move on. Oh, Welcome! Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you for having me, Leah! Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we are gonna fashionize Ms. Ember. Yippee! 
Okay. Should we look at the first side? Can you see this on Discord? Is it being shared? Did I make it work? Yes, it is. Okay. I see it. Yippee! Okay! Here we go. So, first slide we have... Ember's current style! I don't know how much of this is gonna get covered up, so if it's covered up, my apologies. I see it. I see it all. Yay! Okay, okay. So, Ember's current style. Do you want to do you want to describe your your style currently? You know, when I go shopping, I really do try to go out of my comfort zone, but somehow my closet ends up with the same stuff. <laughs> I guess my criteria is one: is it comfy? Two. Does it match the rest of my closet, which is just black and white? <laughs> <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, that's basically my current criteria. Is it comfy? Does it fit my closet? But I want to be cooler. I want to upgrade. I mean, okay, if I'm being honest, I think... Comfy like this is actually so cool. <laughs> oh! I envy, I envy people that can like put together something comfy but make it look stylish like this. Because I just know that you're enjoying life to the maximum. <laughs> you think so? I, I look at... Like, you guys all know how Leah dresses, right? I look at people with styles like Leah or anyone who, who like really puts in the effort to fashion max and I just think, wow. I wish that could be me. I wish. <laughs> it's to compensate. It's to compensate. Listen, listen, listen. If you dress comfy, I can tell you're like the nicest person ever. If you if you <laughs> dress like me, take it from me, Ember. I'm a bitch. Bitch no. chan. No. Bitch oh, chan. No! <laughs> uh, bitch chan, you're being so cute today. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Okay, guys, thanks for coming to the collab. I have to go kill Ember out back right now. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie, was that me? <laughs> Why are you moaning so much? I'm not moaning. You're like, oh, ah, my bad. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. I'm supposed to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. When I'm with Leah, I feel like. I feel like I'm drunk off of Leah's essence. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, that came off so creepy. It was supposed what? to come off cute. <laughs> what did What did she mean by this? First, first we're talking about filling things with your fluid, and second, now we're wait. <laughs> no. It's not out of context. Out of context. Out of context. The context. Don't worry context. about it. <laughs> I said they should fill it with their fluids. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound any better. It doesn't sound any better. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we'll so fa it. comfy fashion. Yeah, um, uh huh. I mean, okay, mm -hmm. you said that you wear a lot of skirts though, right? Because you're not like a big, a big pants wearer. Uh, it's hard for me to find pants that fit me well. Uh, they're either too long or they're like too tight in the like upper thigh area. Maybe I got maybe I gotta wear like baggy pants, baggy jeans. So I just end up wearing skorts. <laughs> skorts? Skirts skirts with shorts? Skorts? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I I remember like when I was a kid, skorts were like so pop. Everybody had skorts. But like I didn't even see a skort for the first time until I went to public school. Oh. And I was like, I'm this trying is to think crazy. what era was skorts. I think I was <laughs> I'm trying to do the math between our generational differences. <laughs> <laughs> uh Yep, when when skorts were cool, Leo was a, a wee lass, and when skorts were cool for me, that was... That may have been high school. <laughs> <laughs> no! What about Get a kilt? Get out the abacus! <laughs> what about a kilt? A kilt is just a skort. 
Oh, okay. I don't know if this is a unpopular opinion, but I think kilts are. I think they're the greatest things ever. Any anyone could wear. Any dude in a kilt, you are living your best life. Honestly, I agree. I saw I saw a man in a kilt a couple weeks ago. I don't even remember where I was. Whoa! He was just in a kilt, and I was like, you know what? That is the coolest thing I've like. Every time I see it, I'm like, whoa! Right? It gives off such like, such. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like I'm cool and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> All of you bros going to off Kai, if you if you roll up to mine and Ember's meet and greets, I don't, I don't even know if we're having them for sure, but if you if you roll up, please wear a kilt. Please wear a kilt. Yeah, kilts for Ember, kilts for Leah. Thank you. Kilts are traditionally worn without undergarments. Oh, okay. Um, don't do that then. Thank you so much. I don't Free oh. thyself! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Free! Free thyself! No! Free thy jewels. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not a skirt. It's a kilt. Like, okay, there's a difference between men and skirts. Men and skirts, ugly, stinky, stupid. Men in kilts, badass. Sorry, femboys. Femboys stinky, ugly, out. stupid. You heard it. <laughs> Irish, Irish men in. Happy Irish cats in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, we're gonna move to the next slide. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So this is what Ember sent me as points that she would would like. She wants to have a little bit more of a feminine style. Yeah. And uh layer accessories and then pants? Question mark, exclamation mark. Pants? Uh, <laughs> pants? Oh, uh, actually, I wear pants. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow, very cool. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I I was really proud of myself for that one. <laughs> this is why I trust Leah. I trust her with my life. I trust her with my fashion. I'm I, ready to I wear pants. I would never lie to a beautiful madam like you. Okay, you know what? Do you, We're done. Why do you look pained? <laughs> The gun is to my head. Goodbye forever. <laughs> I would never lie. <laughs> uh, actually, that was a lie. <laughs> Once I get going doing that, I can't force myself to stop. I'll like roll up to my mom after this and be like, uh, hey, mom. Okay, we're done. <laughs> okay. So, this is from... A, a picture from the board that Ember sent me. I really like this outfit, honestly. I saw it and I was like, damn, this it's is really so fire. Cute. It's like overalls, but... Yeah. <laughs> this whole stream is like HR violation. It's a good thing we don't have HR. True. True. <laughs> Back off, Dizzy. There's no HR to violate. Yeah, there's no yeah. HR. <laughs> Bitch it down and I will rule the no! world. No! <laughs> uh, no! No! <laughs> the pants need to be 50% less massive. No, you don't understand. Baggy jeans like this are the way of the future. Agreed if I wore pants. Uh, well, okay, this is to encourage you to wear pants. So there's a difference <laughs> between like baggy jeans and then like straight leg pants, right? Cause like, I feel like if you just get yeah. baggy jeans, it might be like the type that can be tighter sometimes. But if you get straight leg mm. pants, it's just one width all the way down the leg. What jeans do you recommend to make your legs longer? If you want longer legs, skinny jeans, but... Skinny jeans. Oh, but they're so restrictive. I know, and they're not even <laughs> fashionable anymore. Exactly. I think, like, if I were, so see, but you you said that you don't really like jeans that are tight up on the thighs because if you want something that's like in style that will make your legs long, like what is it, flare? Like jeans that are flared at the bottom are really popular. Oh, those are classics. They were so, they're so trendy back in the nineteen. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you said nineteen. What the? 
back in the <laughs> the 1900s, my lady. <laughs> I thought you weren't allowed to show ankle back then. <coughs> Women in pants what? would get you burned at the stake. <laughs> you were like, Sorry, roll up. I'm just a modern lass. <laughs> you roll up and you're wearing bottom jeans and they're witch! Witch! <laughs> witch! <laughs> Yeah, the the 70s guys, the 70s. Not that I I would know. I wasn't I wasn't alive during that time. The 70s? Oh, like Forrest Gump? <laughs> Did Forrest Gump wear flare bottom jeans? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's like box of chocolates, Leah. <laughs> till, till. I don't remember anything about Forrest Gump other than shrimp. Cause they have a restaurant in Hawaii that's like shrimp. Jenny wore bell-bottom jeans, maybe. Jenny. Who's Jenny? Forrest Gump's girl. He pulled bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't know this. No. Uh, Jenny. Jenny. She was. She was a harlot. We'll call her that. Oh. She was a harlot. Oh, okay. Wait, why? He got shot in the ass by Jenny. <laughs> what is this movie about? I thought I thought <laughs> they just fish for shrimp in this movie. What? <laughs> yeah, he pulled hella beaches. What? <laughs> Forrest Gump had a whole arc where he was out on the town and like the ladies couldn't stop throwing themselves at him. Mm. <laughs> about everything. I don't know. <laughs> you should do a watch along. I don't know. It's kind of an old movie though. Oh my god, speaking of old movies, Ember. Yeah. I wanted to I wanted to watch this new this new movie that's like an old movie with everybody at Face Kinai. Oh. It's called Lisa Frankenstein. Lisa Frankenstein. It's like, it's like if an 80s movie was made today. It's awesome. Oh, I saw the trailer for that. It looks cool. It's, it's cool. I, w I was like, I'll do a watch along with my, with my viewers in the Discord. But there's a sex scene in it and it made me really uncomfortable. Oh. And I don't want to have to sit in a voice call with the viewers and watch that. <laughs> so let's just watch it together on our own time. The, the birds and the bees, guys. <laughs> It made me uncomfortable. I was like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, just say one and I'll be there. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm not a prude. It just, it's really weird. Yeah, it's like, it's like watching that type of movie and your family's in the room. <laughs> I mean, like, the last time we had a movie watched along on Discord, I watched The Human Centipede with everyone. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thoughts? I've never watched that movie, but... It's more like a comedy movie, honestly, if anything. I don't understand why people are like, Oh my god, it's so... It's so... It's so... Like, it's, it's really not that bad. How explicit is it? Like, do you... They just straight up show all the gore and weird bits. Yeah, but he's wearing sunglasses the whole time. So it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a thick German accent and he's wearing like the Terminator sunglasses the whole time. <laughs> so it's like, you can't take it seriously. I don't think I could eat popcorn while watching that movie. You know, everybody has their own tolerance levels, so I understand. I think when we watched it in Discord, I mean, I've seen it a bunch of times before, but I was, a I bunch was eating, of times. <laughs> I was eating curry, and I was like, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Oh, okay. If you say it's good, I'll, I'll consider. You know, maybe I'll just have a sit down, minus yeah. the popcorn. <laughs> You just know eating. What else is like a good movie that we can all watch? Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ooh, that's a classic. It seems like something you might have seen before. I have seen it before. It feels like that and like, you know, like Beetlejuice and all those. 
<laughs> Beetlejuice? You've never seen Beetlejuice? I heard it's like the music from it, but that's it. Wow, I think the short black haired girl is cute, but that's that's all I know. Oh wait, the guy that is Beetlejuice is in Has Been Hotel. I know that too. Oh what? Yeah. I haven't seen I've only watched one episode of Has Been Hotel. Is it good? You know, I Okay, this is going on record for the internet. What happened was I was gonna hate watch it. Cause yeah. I was like, dude, this show is so ugly and it sucks. So I pathetically got drunk on my own and laid in bed and <laughs> binged Has Been Hotel and hate watched it. And when I woke up in the morning, I had one of the songs stuck in my head and I couldn't stop singing it. And then I rewatched it sober and I was like, okay, it's, it's mid at best, but I can tolerate it. It's like, sort of like, Musical-ish, right? Like, there's songs throughout Has Been Hotel? It's like if a middle school emo kid that exclusively shopped at Hot Topic <coughs> but was also really passionate about musical theater made their own TV show with their edgy OCs. <laughs> that's Has Been Hotel. <laughs> it's like camp and, like, cringe, but kind of in a way that, like, I was camping cringe, so I can't, like... Oh. You know? The songs are good, I'm that's saying. it. Yeah, okay, so it's good. like an, an edgy, yeah, like edgy Broadway musical. <laughs> yeah, Evil core. yeah, and then and then like you know you th these OCs that you drew like when you were younger in like a notebook and that you would make like AMVs on like a private YouTube account for. <laughs> you grew up, you got a job as an influential artist and money to make a TV show, and you went crazy with it to like actualize your middle school dreams. So in that context. I kind of respect it, you know? Because, like, it's everybody's dream to have their edgy OCs grow up and become something cool. That's so true, though. That hit me deep. I used to make AMVs. Really? <laughs> I did. I spent a lot of my middle school time making AMVs. That's... Dude, I always envied people that could do that. <laughs> can, can we please... Someone in, in chat in phase. Please, please make a Leah AMV <laughs> with the old, like, techno music and everything. I, I used to, like, I was I was really big into, like, Italia and Homestuck, and I used to watch oh. AMVs for that all the time. Like, I would just watch AMVs all day. Like, uh, what is AMV? How do you not know what an AMV is? What? No, nobody answer this fool. Go Google it yourself. <laughs> I cannot believe, even I know that. Are you serious? There was like this one AMV to Homestuck that I watched so much. I could like tell you exactly what picture was going to pop up <laughs> when for the song. It was so great. <laughs> Wait, so Homestuck, if you could summarize it in a sentence, what is it about? Mm. Kid really likes soda. Cool. I, I could not. <laughs> I could not tell you what Homestuck is about, man. It, it, I feel so like much. that was like the era of like the Tumblr esque internet that I just never participated in. Really? So I, I don't. I don't like know anything about Homestuck, but I remember seeing people like in day to day life with like Homestuck cosplays, walking around with Homestuck T shirts. Yeah, it was so popular. So popular. It's like, it, Homestuck, I mean, it's it's about a kid that's stuck at home. Makes sense, makes sense. But then, like, the world is ending, and they have this chat room with trolls, and they have to save the world, and there's a lot of soda, and, um, <laughs> people die. <laughs> People die. <laughs> people die, and then people really, really, really like to incest ship from it. Honestly, not surprising. Wait, so the characters were like, like when you say trolls, they were actual like trolls with like the little horns and stuff, or were they like just people? Yeah, they're trolls, like actual horns, they had, oh. like gray skin, orange, orange horns. Yeah. Crazy. Troll-cest. <laughs> no, uh, uh. 
<laughs> Why'd you react like that? Well, anyways, we, um, wow, it's crazy. We're still on slide number one. Shall we progress? <laughs> Hi, I made another note on this. If you didn't, oh god, we okay there. Hi, um, I said that the baggy pants and like crop top combo is really popular right now too. Like this type of silhouette. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, um, accessories. I know you said, like, you wanted to accessorize more. Arm warmers. Very fashionable uh, right now. Oh, I have one pair of arm warmers that I have never worn. Because I bought it, and I was like, this is cool. And then I never wore it, because I didn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> well, Very cool. Hard to and wear, just... but, but if, like, you can figure out, like, how to style it and stuff. Super cute. Super, super, super cute. Mm. Do you wear any... Do you have any? Like, do you wear any arm warmers or leg warmers? Yeah, I, I wear them actually very frequently. <laughs> cute! <laughs> so cute! Ah, I have like this one outfit I got recently. The shirt has like cool arm warmers and it came with like a harness too. Ooh. It looks kind of badass. I'm like, can I pull this off? But I really like wearing it. Edgy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wear arm warmers during hand cam streams, too. You put them on your hands like gloves. Yeah, but they're like usually they're not like regular gloves. They're like, like instead of individual fingers, it's just like one opening and then a little hole for your thumb. And I, oh, my I, God. Like, fingerless gloves. Yes, they're fingerless <laughs> gloves. They're so cool. And like, see? You know when you buy like a workout jacket or something and it has that on it? Yes! 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 She gets it! Oh, I can never like resist a good like hoodie or workout jacket that comes with like the thumb holes on like the sleeves. So I'm like, this is amazing. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's so comfy. I was being clowned on the other day for wearing fingerless gloves. <laughs> they're but fashionable. They're, they're cool. They're cool! What? She gets it, she gets it. Yeah, <laughs> arm warmers, super back in style. Also, chunky leg warmers. Yeah. The, the chunky silhouette for the bottom is really in right now. Mm. So, like, baggy pants, uh, chunky sneakers, like, uh, oversized leg warmers, like, really, like, things that look bulky. But then you wear like tighter stuff on the top and it gives oh. you like a really youthful silhouette. <gasps> youth? You said youth? Youthful. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, youthful. So yeah, if you want to look more like, mm, I don't know. I, I guess it's kind of edgy too, but like also not because like there's a lot of like K-pop groups and stuff that dress like that too. So even oh. like normies are wearing stuff like that now. Yeah, <laughs> I I think I've heard that before. Thank like you. like pairing like a baggy bottom with something more form fitting on top, or like vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Like if you think like a pencil skirt and like a chunky sweater. Oh. Yeah, or like in this case, I I don't know. You put this picture in like that Pinterest board, and I was like, dude, this is the coolest thing ever. But <laughs> yeah, I love this outfit. It's so cool. Uh, let's see. Next slide. Kind of, kind of like what I was talking about, right? Chunky sweater with a skirt. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Do you have headphones? I every time I see headphones as an accessory, I, I'm like, whoa, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, I was like, I'm not gonna buy over the ear headphones because I only have like a gaming headset. But then. Yeah. Like last year, I saw a bunch of people talking about like how this one pair of headphones is really good. So I got them. I use them for streaming, but I also wear them as an accessory. They're like the Sony. Sony. Oh God, I don't even know if it says on here. I'm not wearing them right now. They're next to me. Sony. Some type of Sony over the ear headphones. Like the wireless ones? Uh, they have a wire, but they're also wireless. Oh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I see I see it really often nowadays. Like, even, like, people, like, just 
people in general or even people at the gym and stuff, they have all these like over ear headphones as like a fashion accessory too. Yeah, I I like Yeah, they're like the Sony W something. I don't remember. I know AirPod Maxes are also popular, but they're like expensive, like super expensive. Which, oh yeah, those are expensive. Yeah. I I don't know, but if you have them, like a nice pair of headphones that you use for like streaming or gaming, you could yeah. also use it as an accessory. Like I I use these when I work out. I use them as an accessory when I go out. They're noise canceling, so like, Ooh. I mean, like you know, if I am overstimulated, I can wear them and it doesn't look weird. Oh, that sounds so nice. Yeah. I know what I'm putting on my wish list. <laughs> I think they're the M4s. Yeah, 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 something like that. But no, I'm saying that you don't have to use them exclusively as an accessory. It's not worth it to get like fake ones because it should. I think that if you have accessories on your style. Ever, yeah. they should be practical, right? So you should be able to use them in a bunch of different... <laughs> it's a subtle autistic fashion tip. <laughs> Practicality over everything. Yeah, yeah. I believe. Like, so you can throw them like literally on anything and I feel like it just makes your outfit look like... You know, a little bit more. Wow. I remember of my childhood. I used to walk around with like... The really, really old CD players that have the little, like, skinny headphones attached to it. <laughs> Did you ever have one of those, like, clip-on, like, what was it? The clip, clip something? Clip, the, it was like this little music player thing. And then, hit clip, I think. Maybe that? Hit clip? Was it that? Hit and it, it was like a single song. Oh, yeah, and then they would come, they uh, started making something similar with like... I think it was hit clips, but they, they came in like animal shapes. I had one and I listened to... <laughs> I listened to Simple Plan over and over <laughs> on, <laughs> on repeat. I... I mean, I... I don't know. I, I <laughs> saw like recently, I went to like this, this store and they had like a bunch of like K-pop music with like that. And I thought they were hit clips with like K-pop singles on it. And I was like, if this is coming like back because you know, back. Sheena told me about it. And I was like, if this is coming back, I'm going to freak it. So I bought one and it wasn't even, it wasn't even a hit clip. It was just like a tiny, and you had to scan a QR code to listen to it. Like, no. Oh, it's not the same. It's not the same. I want to, like, I've seen like pictures of people like hanging a bunch of like the singles off of like their phone, like keychains, And like they have the little, bring those back. Those are so bring it back. chic. And like two to I five love bucks so a pop. much. Oh, okay, but like two to five bucks for a song? Didn't you buy music off of iTunes back in the day, bozo? Right? No, I used LimeWire. I was too stupid <laughs> too. I wanted to download a bunch of Miku music <laughs> and I couldn't. <laughs> Just casually obtained a virus through LimeWire. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. Yeah. Well, QR my virus, codes aren't Leah? the same, you know? Like, I don't know. Fashion is a circle. We, we, I mean, that's how it's always it's true. Been. Yeah, you have stuff that's in style, it goes out of style, it comes back around. I mean, personally, I don't really think about like fashion as like a circle or like trends coming back around too much and stuff. I just see things mm. that I'm like, wow, I would like to dress like that. And then I do. And if people make fun of me, uh, that's what the headphones are for, BB. Yeah, and that's that's more on them anyways. Yeah, exactly. Okay, am I really gonna like sit there and let some freaking stinky basic girl wearing like shorts and a tank top and sandals <laughs> judge me yeah, for the way that the I dress? Adam Sandler fit with the baggy t-shirts and the basketball shorts and flip-flops. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, you think I'm gonna sit there and feel bad that, like, oh, I can't believe that I'm dressed weird. What, like, the, you're wearing <laughs> the most basic, like, Lululemon leggings and a sweater? Like, shut the hell up, okay? <laughs> shut the hell up. I don't know. Ever since I started thinking like that, I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't feel bad about the way I dress ever. I went yeah, to, like, a... Like people a, who judge like that, they're probably... 
They're probably missing something in their own lives. That's why they gotta be so miserable. Exactly. They're jealous. They're jealous. And they have no fashion sense. I went to like a tea, like a tea, fancy tea place a couple weeks Ooh. ago. And I dressed in like a, not, not like Lolita, but like, I was wearing like a, like a fancy dress and a bonnet for the first <gasps> time ever. So cute. I love bonnets. <laughs> Well, I bought it and I was like, I don't know when I'm gonna wear this. I'm kind of embarrassed. But then I was like, okay, oh. if I dress like this anywhere, like going to like a fancy tea place <laughs> is like the like the one place to wear it, right? And so <laughs> I wore it to that place, but then it was just full of like a bunch of people and like like s fancy church clothes, basically. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I feel kind of weird and out of place. But then like a bunch of like these little girls were like, like staring at me and like freaking out. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They're like pointing and like talking. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pretend to myself that they're saying good things about me. So I feel they better. They probably thought you were a little princess. I looked like Misa Amane on the day that she killed herself. Oh, they probably thought you were a... Edgy princess. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing and laughing. No! <laughs> you know, the Amane part of my last name was partially inspired by Misa Amane. <laughs> That's so based. <laughs> Misa Amane is like like the end goal. I want to I want to wear her skin like a flesh suit. Agreed. Fashion is just so good, man. <laughs> like, um, yeah, like I said, um, if you wear short skirt, chunky sweater, beanie is also pretty, pretty stylish right now. I see a lot of Ooh. people, uh, wear like beanies with like, uh, bunny ears or like cat ears. I think new jeans kind of like set the trend for that. So if you wear stuff like that in public, it's not that weird. It's not weird. Oh my god. I usually... I should put that into practice. You know, the only time I put on a beanie is if I'm having bedhead. <laughs> I just put that on. But they're, they they can be really fashionable. I can feel it. My fashion, my fashion senses are being upgraded right now. <laughs> <laughs> and see, it's like a double purpose, right? Like, accessories should be practical. So if you can hide your bedhead with it, no one's gonna know! Genius. Genius. Yeah, genius. Let's see. Uh, next one. Okay. My advice to you, right, is... Mm, I don't think it's a bad thing to, like, be comfy and stuff in your fashion. Yeah. And I think there's a way to be both comfy and dressed up. Right? I don't think... Yeah. It's, it's like, a bad thing to, like, like being comfy. So... My advice is a good leather jacket can take any outfit, no matter what you're wearing. You could be wearing pajama pants and a t-shirt, but you throw a leather jacket over it and it instantly becomes like the most stylish thing ever. Let me write this down. Invest in good leather jacket. You know, I've... I've always like browsed leather jackets at stores, but then I would look at the price tag because they were like, you know, like... They, they were expensive. <laughs> yeah. But they're supposed to last you a long time, right? Uh, I think so. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I have a leather jacket that I bought on Shein mm. for like 30 bucks. But it's like perfectly oversized and comfy without being like suffocating. Oh, sorry, I have a hiccup. So, I don't know. It's like... Uh, am I the best person to be speaking on this? Maybe not entirely, but you can't tell, right? I think so. I I don't I don't really have like too many leather jackets. I think like real or faux leather. Yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> I didn't say it has to be real. I just said you should <laughs> invest in getting one. <laughs> Who cares? end of the day if it's real or not you know how expensive clothes are these days like so expensive so expensive 
like a shirt can cost you like $110. And it's like, there's nothing special about the shirt. And it's like definitely like factory made, mass produced, but it's still gonna cost you that much if you want it. So where, where you can, uh, you know, be a little bit more uh, money conscious, I think that's important. Honestly, yeah. The wallet do be hurt. <laughs> Even like shoes. I'll look at the price and I'm like, what do you mean this is over like a hundred dollars? Oh my god. There were these boots I've been wanting for like two years. Two plus years now. And they went yeah. back in stock the other day. Finally. I've been like, I've had my notifications on for so long. And they went back in stock. And I was like, wow, there's $60? That's a lot cheaper than I expected. So I was over here like rubbing my hands together like, <laughs> I'm about to buy these shoes. Um, I was missing a zero. Oh! And I was like, um, absolutely <gasps> not. Are you kidding me? What the? That's like a whole rent payment. Right? <laughs> I was like, um, never mind. What? what? Who's, who's paying $600 for shoes? Who can afford $600 shoes? Dude, I think the most expensive pair of shoes I've bought recently were like $80, which is a lot of money for like freaking sneakers. Like, you, you can't afford yeah. anything. That is so expensive. <laughs> there better be some. There better be some boots that make you extra lucky. They better be rolling. <laughs> They're really cool though. I'm. I'm gonna dream about them until the day I die. But I'm not freaking buying them. They're like chunky, kind of platform, but they have like uh, metal bits on them, like on the toe Ooh, and stuff. So they like look like hardware. Yeah, like they're like super grunge, right? I'm like, oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. I just buy kids' shoes these days because they're cheaper. They are cheaper. I used to do that. And then and then I outgrew the kids' sizes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is a fashion tip. If you want to save money, um, usually like buying sneakers from like Fila, Nike, Adidas. If you buy the kids' size, it's like 40 bucks cheaper. <laughs> That's you will true. never catch me with an adult size sneaker. I'm not paying that much money. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the like oh, I don't know if it's just me, but the the quality over the years for some of the shoes, like like you know the common like Nike, Adidas, I feel like it's not as good as it used to be. It's not. I feel like my shoes break down faster now. Yeah, literally. I, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, I, I had the same pair of Fila's for a long time. Like, my go-to chunky sneaker. And then I had to buy new ones. But, like, I feel like they should have lasted a little bit longer. <laughs> you know? I don't know. No, I feel you on that. I'm... I actually... My cheaper pair of, like, tennis shoes and stuff, I feel like it's lasting me way longer than, like, all the, like, Nike store brand stuff that's crazy my like cheerleading style tennis shoes <laughs> you know what will never break down on you no matter how many years pass crocs oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait what's your opinion on crocs um i think that they they're fun and if they bring you joy who cares what other people think Yeah, my Crocs put me in a wheelchair, but I still love them. Oh my... What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the... <laughs> what? How? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just, let's just say I walked a little bit too much in my Crocs. I took a walk in my Crocs. I took a walk in my Crocs outside and I, I walked too much and I suddenly I was in a wheelchair. I was... Did you have them in sports mode? I did. I did have no. them in sports mode. No! <laughs> they deadly. failed you! <laughs> so like little, you know how Crocs at the bottom have little bumps? I, I've never worn a pair of Crocs. I don't know. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. <laughs> Unless you want to be in a wheelchair too. What the f Why, why do they have bumps in them? I guess it's like... I don't know, extra grippage, but it's kind—it's—it's kind of like, like bumpy. It's not smooth, 
and I I wore them with no socks in sports mode, and I was I was walking a long distance, and before I knew it, I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> Wait, I thought you okay. I thought Crocs were supposed to be worn without, without socks. I thought they were like beach shoes. For, like, Don't do it! Sand. Don't do it! Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Don't do it. Okay, okay. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what do you think about Crocs. You can borrow my wheelchair if you do, though. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're already like saying that I'm gonna fail and end up in a wheelchair. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> See, even even people in chat, like they're saying, look, it hurts. It hurts when you wear them without socks. Really? It does, it does kind of hurt. I didn't know they were I oh okay. I I never would like guess. Tiny little spikes under your feet. <laughs> what the <laughs> like, isn't it like a massage then? Like, the same thing as like people that walk on rocks? Maybe, maybe one of us is stronger than the other. I don't know. I don't walk. Okay, I, I don't go and like look at a bunch of rocks and be like, mm, yeah, let me walk barefoot on this. Oh, wait, did you know they also shrink in the sun? What? I... <laughs> What? <laughs> I left mine out in the sun and they sh like my first pair, they shrank to like almost keychain size. What? <laughs> in the Texas sun, they shrank. What the they fuck? They do, they shrink. Don't leave them out in the sun. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they shrank to like Less than half the size. <laughs> what the? <laughs> you can you can make your own croc keychain, guys, if you just leave them out in the sun. The sun is bigger in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What the? <laughs> my mind is being blown right now. The fuck do you mean they shrink in the sun? Yeah, they do, and and so like for my recent pair. I was in between sizes, so I just left them out in the sun. And now they fit me. <laughs> I mean, at least they're kind of DIY-ish, right? Yeah. It's like one of those hand towels that you put in the water and it expands yeah. and then it shrinks. Oh, I love those. Have you ever... Sorry, we keep going on tangents. <clears throat> fashion, fashion. <laughs> fashion. Yay, okay. Um, what else did I say? Layering necklaces, different lengths, like right here, Ooh. right? Like the outfit this person is wearing is like really basic, right? Simple skirt, yeah. simple top, but with the jacket and the necklaces, it looks kind of fancy now. It looks so put together. And it's all it takes, right? A good jacket, a couple of nice necklaces. It could be random ones too. Uh, let's see, what else? Um... Chunky jeans, platform sneakers, we talked about that. Makes you look more youthful. Ah, uh, youth. Youth. Ah, uh, okay. We talked about this, I'll go to the next one. Oh yeah, okay, here's some outfit recommendations Ooh. I gave you. So, kind of with the same thing of like, chunky on the bottom, but fitted at the top. For some reason I get the impression that you would look really, really, really good in like, maxi skirt. I think like the Ooh. denim maxi skirt is so cool though. The you know the second outfit. Have you ever watched Hunter Hunter? Uh, a little bit of it. The second outfit kind of reminds me of the the glasses girl with the vacuum. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of. Built it's like a tribe. It's giving like chic. It's giving like sexy nerd. It's <laughs> it's like it's like subtle anime. Yeah. Which again, dressing like anime characters. Can you the dream? Fashion? Yeah. See, there you go. This is one way you can do it. Genius. <laughs> the triangle silhouette is very desirable. I I know like. 
people in chat might laugh, but you guys are not fashion pilled. The triangle silhouette idea is is very 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 fashionable. Upside down or regular triangle? Depends on what you want to look. I feel like if it's like a regular triangle, it looks a little bit more casual, right? But if it's yeah. upside down, it's very high fashion. Me in a speedo. What? If Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I said you look like a triangle to Savita, what? Like upside down triangle is... I don't know why that was my first thought. <laughs> Speedo core. No, I'm thinking like like jackets with like broad or like pointy shoulders. Ah. Dresses okay. with like big round sleeves. Right? Something like that. That type of like upside down triangle silhouette. I think it's mostly in the shoulders at that point, but mm. yeah, I, I know like uh, bell sleeves, puffy sleeves, that type of thing is really, you know, it'll help create that silhouette and it can make you look really fancy. If you think like Paris Fashion Week, like Lumina talked about, those type yeah. of silhouettes, it looks like you belong there if you have that type of silhouette. <laughs> That's true. I've seen them. Um, have you seen the videos of that guy who like just dresses up a random. Like his random grandpa, an old man. Yeah. And just like brings him into Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they've got the triangle on lock. Like he just put on like a floaty with some like random vest and other random furniture pieces from Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> but the, they got the concepts down so it was so convincing. And it looks, I don't know, I think it can look cool. It depends on what you wear it with though, right? You can't just like <laughs> throw something on. I'm thinking like, what's that one DreamWorks character with like the leather jacket and the pointy shoulders? Leather jacket. He's like a DreamWorks, DreamWorks character. character. He has black hair and like a guitar. Are you talking about the rat? Wait, no, he's a person. <laughs> he's a person. He's a human. He's like a mustache. It says like there is a rat who has a leather jacket and a fupa, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Man? No, it's a person, not an animal. No monkey. No monkey. What's I don't know. What's the guy's name in How to Train a, How to Train a Dragon? I've never seen it. What? The rat from Flushed Away. I no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, that rat. No leather <laughs> <The> jacket. <laughs> Hiccup. Oh, his name was Hiccup. It, there are like people making thirst trap edits of Hiccup in a leather jacket. <laughs> Okay, were you were you ever on the internet during like the Onesler phase? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember those like Elsa X like um Jack Frost edits that people would make? Yes. Were you were you <laughs> I was a big fan of the Prince Eric X uh Prince Hans edit. I was really invested. Oh yeah, Flynn Rider was there too. I was really invested in that one. <laughs> These are these are the crack ships of the century. <laughs> I remember when I first saw it, I was like, Jack Frost with Elsa. <laughs> but then like it got really pop like okay, I wanna know how people edited those videos because like those are actually so crazy to watch. They're so like well edited, <laughs> right? They're so good. <laughs> And yeah, Rise of the Brave rats. Tangled Dragons! There you go, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember why that was a thing. But, yeah, Rise of the Brave Tangled Dragons. It was like, a huge yeah, thing. Yeah, how did that even come to be? I, well, I, I feel like we need to go back in time and study this, because I just feel like it popped up on my my dashboard one day, and I was like, okay. Yeah, we need a, we need a time capsule way back then. Like, oh, it's like 10 years, bro. 10 years ago. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, no, I don't no, like no. that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I just gave myself psychosis. 
Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, okay, Ooh, okay. Cute! Yes, two things Umber mentioned. Wanting to dress more feminine and wanting to yeah. incorporate more color. So, okay. The one on the left is still simple, right? Simple pieces. But, yeah, yeah I think like an outfit like this, there's not a lot of color, right? I mean, it's still black and white primarily, but the patterns, the patterns are what makes it look way more colorful than it actually is. And, I don't know, I think the red is really nice. It's flattering. I like the red. I don't own a single red item. Really? In my closet. I guess other than, other than this top, but... <laughs> I, I, I want know. more red. I think red, like, not not in large quantities, but like in a little bit, right? Like, oh, a red jacket here. If you wore like an all black outfit with a red jacket, it could look really nice. Or like, uh, you know, white and red, but not not too much because it stands out a lot, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. And then the one on the right, um, I don't know. It was very feminine, but again, simple and. I know, I know, maybe simple is it? How do I say this? You you might not entirely want simple, but I don't think mm. it's like worth pushing yourself too hard to like yeah. get away from. Cause you can make simple look really good, like oh this. It's basic puff piece. sleeves. Will I pull off puff sleeves? <laughs> you never know unless you try. It's so, it's so feminine and cute. Look at the puffy sleeves, you guys. So but they're so cute! You're right. It's just slightly pushing the envelope. Yeah, yeah, It's all yeah. about envisioning myself. It might be hard to do if you're not used to dressing like this, but... <laughs> I'm not. You gotta, you gotta push yourself just a little bit, right? Yes, yes. It's more about like... I don't know, the mental of like, what are other people going to think of me? But if you feel good about yourself, that's all that matters. That's true. Fashion is just expression. It's true, it's true. Think about all the goth kids and how cool they always look. Even if it's not your particular style, you look at them and you're like, damn, they really stand out because oh they're gosh. like, yeah, I'm living my best life over here. It makes me, it makes me a little sad at the thought that like, Kids nowadays don't get that like um goth kid emo scene face. <laughs> I know. What do you mean that we don't have like middle schoolers with their? I mean, not that I did this, but with their Invader <laughs> Zim jacket that they would wear every single day. Like, what happened to all the awkward kids? Now everyone knows how to dress up. Everyone knows how to do their makeup. It's so different. I know. Oh my god. Have you seen the trend of those TikTok kids that go to Sephora? Yes. I'm like, what? I saw them in real life. <gasps> I Your thought mama it was just... can afford this? <laughs> I, I, was, I was at a mall a couple weeks ago. And I like... I, I, don't, I don't remember. I was like stopping getting... Boba or something, and in front of me was like, these kids could not be more than like 12. Like, definitely younger than 12. I'm just, <laughs> I, they look so old, but they're really, really, really small. And they were wearing Lululemon and had Lululemon bags and Sephora bags, and they were talking about like stuff like uh, at Sephora, and I was eavesdropping because I was like so shocked that this was like happening in front of me. I was like, you guys are not supposed to exist. It was supposed to be an yeah. internet prank. This is not the timeline that you're supposed to be in. I was like, what? Like, and then I remember like, when I, when I like got my, my drink, I went to my mom and I was like, bro, you would never believe what I just saw. It was crazy. Oh my God. Oh, and like how they, uh, like the, the, there's like a, a meme going around in like the skincare trend where like kids buy all the like expensive brand name like drunk elephant skincare yeah and, and those things are like a hundred bucks a bottle yeah literally they're so expensive and the thing about like those types of products like for chat that probably doesn't know um um you're not supposed to use it from like a young age it's for people yeah. like older older people that have like you know uh Skin, like, skin problems that come with age, right? Maybe dark spots, maybe some wrinkles. That's what that stuff is for. Not a 
12 year old like a 12 year old with perfect skin like you haven't even like gotten sunburned one time in your entire life what do you mean that you need this like like chemical peel what yeah, yeah it's I, a little it's a little uncanny i think i'm just so used to like kids being like remembering myself as that little awkward kid who who didn't know how to like do makeup or dress and i, I wore my i had an invader zim jacket actually <laughs> <laughs> did you ever like beg your parents to let you get like the scene mullet haircut yes and then i tried begging my she was like no no you look like a dropout that I was like, Mom, can I go to Hot Topic? Can I please go to Hot Topic? <laughs> I had this like... Oh my god. Ah, oh, my cringe face. I had this like hoodie. Like this this uh, Hot Topic hoodie that had like cat ears on it. And it was like a little ripped. And <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The hoodies like that were the best. Those like the animal ears. <laughs> I wore those every day. <laughs> please, can I go to Hot Topic? I had just a, don't understand. I had an Invader Zim hoodie that I wore every day. Every day. And it was like striped on the sleeves. And it had like hot pink writing on it. But it was green and black. Oh my god, that was my favorite <laughs> color combo back then too. Hot pink, green, and black. I was like, yeah. You're only one color away now. <laughs> You're right. You're oh still my god. The little Invader Zim core who's still here all along. I've never moved past my Emily the Strange phase. <laughs> Mentally, I'm still with Ruby Gloom. We're still kicking it back. But, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I see all these kids and I'm like, where is your cringe phase? Like, why are you guys not having, like, a meltdown on yeah. Twitter about, like, my mom won't let me get this haircut. I'm ending it all. Because that's what I was doing. Where's your... I cut my own bangs and I messed it up. I tried to give myself a scene mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I did that. I, I went to go get my hair cut and I asked for the scene mullet. And my mom was like, no. And then I went home and I tried cutting it and I messed it up. No. <laughs> but like, that's just part of the youth experience. Like at the time, it feels like the end of the world. But you look back on it and you're like, hell yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Like I wish I had more photos. If any photos, I think, I think I deleted all my photos from that time. But man, take me back. <laughs> yeah, when you discover Hatsune Miku for the first time and listen to like Alice Human Sacrifice. And you're like, damn, this fucks. <laughs> Servant of evil going real hard. <laughs> we bump in fear garden in my bedroom. <laughs> you go around school knowing that you're the only one who knows who Hatsune Miku is. Yeah, and all these normies are too cringe to hang out with me because I'm watching the Miku concerts on YouTube. <laughs> Guys, I made my own Vocaloid. <laughs> Did you ever have like the jailbroken version of like the Vocaloid and would like make them say stuff? <laughs> yes! Oh god. I'm taking a trip down memory lane. Yeah, kids <laughs> never get to experience this stuff. Instead, they're like, oh my god, drunk elephant, Lululemon. Like, shut shut the fuck up. I'm going oh to kill gosh, you. Oh my gosh, TikTok trends. Oh my god. <laughs> the visual K hair. Oh my god, the first time you ever watched Black Butler. <laughs> You know the new season is coming out in a couple of weeks? What? Yeah! Oh! Oh my Ojo-sama, no! <laughs> We're returning to Monkey in a couple of weeks! When Black Butler <laughs> airs, ignore me. The person I'm about to become. <laughs> you don't want to see the person behind this mess. <laughs> What's about to happen is between me and God only. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I collect, I have like, I think I still have the Black Butler art book. Oh my god. Yep. No, you I, I got... I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm giving myself psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm only enabling the psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> about to reset myself. I cannot wait for the new Black Butler season. I didn't know that I was excited about it, but then when I, like saw the thing like the new trailer the other day i was like okay baby baby there's a reason to live <laughs> you know before black butler 
It was Vampire Night. I've never Can seen you... Vampire <gasps> Night. It was like the the opening. The agaku agaku agaku. <laughs> I never watched it, but I really liked the opening. I just like never got around to it. I regret it because like I missed out on that. When everybody else was watching Vampire Night, I was watching fucking Strawberry Panic. <laughs> That's okay. Pure and cute. You didn't need, you didn't need Vampire Night during that time. You you're too young. You're too young for that. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> was, to you? I was watching Christian girls kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> there was two timelines we could have gone down, and you went down that timeline. It, it, it was for the better. Yeah, yeah. I was watching Maria Holic and Strawberry Panic. <laughs> the an angel. <laughs> oh my God! I had the art book for that too. <laughs> Vampire Night is peak. I wish I okay. Some part of me like wants to go and watch it like right now, and be like, yeah, what was all of this about? But, dude, I don't know. I hear it's like it didn't age well, but I love like old campy anime like that. I'm trying to remember, but it has such a fond place in my childhood that to me it was just like wow. Wow, vampires. Wow, I want to be her. <laughs> I kiss through the petals into VTuber pipeline. Yes. Yes, kiss through the petals. So good. Is incest to you enjoy it? Escaflone! <laughs> I actually didn't watch Escaflone until like a couple years ago. Like kind of recently. Like two, two or three years ago. When I debuted, I say go Mystic Eyes. Wow. That's a... That's a quite a throwback too. Escaflone. Escaflone. Rosario Vampire. Yeah. I miss old anime. I, I hope Ugh. that when Black Butler airs, it resets the entire world. And that we start getting old school stuff again. I've been getting... I think it's working. I don't know if it's just me. Because I am a very... I am exactly the target audience for it. But I've been getting a lot of videos of people dressed in like maid or butler outfits and doing little black butler skits. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just a me thing, but but I feel it coming. I could be a trendsetter. I mean, okay. I am. I don't know if it's the same person, but there's this one person on TikTok that is like like larps as a butler <gasps> with, i think i know who you're talking about with, with the, the glasses yeah and the side bang yeah. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> and the bangs that go under the glasses, <laughs> under the glasses. <laughs> Low that key. song gets stuck in my head it's like go to sleep miss and then yeah. do 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 do, do. <laughs> Watching it every night. I low key. Why? Why are they kind of hot? Why is it so effective? It's like so cringe, but it's like, why do I like this right? as a grown woman? And it, it only shows up at night for me. <laughs> same, same. Makes <laughs> it like glasses know. crazy. Oh, Yasumi or Josama. Every time I watch it, I'm like, why am I, why am I low key blushing? What's wrong with me? And then I have to like put my phone down, and it, that that's like gets me to sleep. I'm like, oh no. And and you know we're not alone because when you read the comments, it's just other women being like, why do I like this? Why does this kind of, uh, uh, why is this so sexy? <laughs> yeah, all the comments are like a bunch of girls like, wait, I'm confused. Why am I? <laughs> but I'm attracted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like right ahead of Black Butler coming out too. Like, God knows. God knows. The women long for Sebastian Michalis. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be CL Phantom Hive. Please. Oh my god, do you remember like the dress CL wears in that one episode? And like everybody wanted to wear it so bad. Everybody wanted to like cosplay that dress. That outfit in particular. <laughs> Honestly... Honestly, I still want to. <laughs> Honestly, if same. The opportunity came up for us to cosplay it. I think we should take it. <laughs> we should. I, I will have to become Sebastian. 
No, it's all I'll be Sebastian. We can take turns. <laughs> no, not the red dress. It's like this pink one with like this little top hat. It's so wow. cute. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are not black butler pilled. You only have a couple it. of weeks to become black butler pilled. You gotta go watch it, Sebastian McCabe. <laughs> Sebastian is waiting for you. <laughs> You'd understand if you watch it. You'd understand. Yeah, there's this one part in like the anime, I forget what season it is, but like Sebastian rizzes up this maid in like the horse stable and they do oh. very not Christian things. And as a child, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Her child awakening. <laughs> <laughs> I was whoa. like, the baller. <laughs> Bring us back. Bring us back. I, I miss it. I miss it so much. Dude, he wears glasses in the new the new trailer. I saw... I think I saw that trailer. Oh! The glasses. Wait. Is Megane... Are you... Is that your type? Because yes. of your diabolic lovers and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like, I like Megane. You like the Megane. <laughs> I can't help it. it. Bro, they put Sebastian in glasses. I folded instantly. I was like, whoa, <laughs> I, I love Black Bowler. I love my wife. I love the, you know how in like, like the anime tropes where it's like, suddenly when a character puts on glasses or takes them off, they're entirely different people. Yeah. yeah oh, I love that trope like, so much, but. Oh my God. Why I never knew you were hot. <laughs> Why is it that, like, character is, like, freaking ragey? When he takes off his glasses, he looks like a salamander. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> it's so cringe. It's so cringe. I'm like, why Why is all the, the characters that I like, when they take off their glasses, they look ugly as shit? It's because he becomes a different person. Well, get him away from me! I want a restraining order now! <laughs> It's like the Can same energy as Osomatsu whenever Karamatsu takes off his glasses and you're like, oh, restraining order. <laughs> Wait, that's true. <laughs> Were you ever Osomatsu pilled? I've watched like a lot of like clips and videos. I've seen a because <laughs> at first I was like, who is this character? Why do I see him everywhere? And then but I've never like seen. sat down and like fully, you know? Yeah. Watched. I think if I if I really think about it, I think Osomatsu san was my introduction to like Yume shipping. <laughs> Where did you watch also like were you like a internet kid? Or did it air on TV at all for you? Uh I don't know about the original, but like the the reboot was really popular on Tumblr. Ah, yeah, I was like, for a couple of years, I was like, a Karamatsu girl. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just... Like... Yeah, he's a <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Shut up! Wow. You're finally here, my Katamatsu girl! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, to each their own, to each their own, I'm she I mean, okay, like, okay, to be honest, the options that you had were not, like, were not <laughs> that, okay, your options were, like, the one that is, like, always being made into, like, some type of, like, masturbation joke, or the really edgy one, and then the other ones don't even count as people. <laughs> yep, the pickings were very limited. You, everybody, go get yourself a bowl cut. <laughs> <on> the glasses. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If you've never seen Osomatsu, I like unironically think it's hilarious, and it's like it's like a very meta anime because it pokes fun at like Fujos. <laughs> it was like, even though it was making fun of Fujos, it was heavily marketed towards Fujos in all of like mm. the wrong ways, but it ended up working. 
like they would release really? these like really ugly body pillows and they'd be like yeah the fujos are gonna hate this but then they would sell out instantly <laughs> you know what this is this is like this is the the time period that i feel like i missed out on yeah <laughs> Maybe in another timeline, I'd, I'd also be a Karamatsu girl. No. <laughs> no. No, I think, no. I think you got the better no. end of the deal here. If I can go back in time and take one part out of my life, it would be my Osomatsu phase. Because trying to explain to your peers, yeah, this ugly ass guy with the bowl cut is the most attractive person I've ever seen. It doesn't, it doesn't work. No. It doesn't work. Only time will tell. <laughs> Wait, can I grab some water real quick? Of course! Okay, I'll be right back. Okay! Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's all of, all of these phases coming back to me. <laughs> Did it overlap with the one star phase? No, not entirely. I Okay, I had like a couple of different like phases I went through where I was like in and out of stuff, but then like there was this one big overlapping thing, right? Rachel from Angels of Death? Oh, Danny. Danny from Angels of Death. <laughs> we give a nostalgia stream! Ah! We got off topic. Wait, I don't know. I think it's because it's the first time Ember and I have collabed one on one. There's many things I want to talk about with her. <laughs> I haven't had this opportunity before. I didn't realize we had so much in common. <laughs> it's called Phase Connect, not Phase Differences. And now all of our phases have connected. I feel bad though. Maybe we should get back to the topic when she comes back. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not. We're this. No. Okay. We'll have. We'll have a. We'll have a. Um. We'll have. We'll have a Tumblr, Tumblr phase collab down the road. Then that's that's what this means, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Vodum tis. tis. What did you like about? I don't. I don't know, man. I was. I was I was new into like the Fujo Yume sphere at that time. I was I was a wee little baby. I had just played Dramatical Murder for the first time ever around the time that I was watching Osomatsu, so I was very new to all of this. It was like around the time that Token Rambu was really popular too. Everything kinda like happened at once for me. Yeah. <laughs> you reminded me of my phases. Yeah! Hello. Hello, I'm welcome starting. back. Okay. Um, we're gonna get back to the topic. Are we ready to yes. next slide? Hi. Okay. I think this is the last slide actually. Yeah, last slide. Okay. Okay. Her hair is so cute. Isn't it? This is Danielle from New Jeans. I think her fashion sense. Kind of reminds me of yours a little bit. Or like... Um, could be good inspiration for like your fashion in the future. Um, Whoa. she's... Like, how do I say this? New Jeans is kind of popular for wearing like very simple outfits but making them mm. chic. So like, this outfit uh, right here, right? Chunky sneakers, baggy pants, crop top, hoodie. It's very simple. But the accessories, right? The keychains on it. And like the necklace, I feel like really dresses it up, makes it look like super hip. Um, wow, you know, New Jeans is um one of those groups that I feel like has awoken has awoken <laughs> like people, not only the young, but but I mean I am young, I am young. <laughs> Like, like you know, like the, the middle-aged lady who really liked K-pop back in her teen years. Yeah, it, it has awoken that in all of us. <laughs> so trendy and so cute, right? I've never seen a group so trendy like they are, and like all of their music is good, and all of the members are so pretty. I, they are the perfect K-pop group in my opinion. <laughs> I feel like yeah, it's maybe it's because like they kind of they don't they kind of break the mold like they they're bringing back like kind of like early '90s and 2000s fashion styles and <laughs> yeah, 
And their music too. It's it's more it's kind of more westernized, you know. Yeah, it They're is. Really trendy. You know like the the like garage genre. Mm. Or like Jersey style those kind of beats. Uh yeah. I I don't know. I think like they're really their concept is so unique, but it doesn't feel like it's as unique as it is. Mm, but yeah. like, I don't know any other group that like does it like them. And I love I love their styling so much. No, I was like when I was looking at your fashion stuff, I was like, I absolutely have to recommend like Danielle style to Ember because I feel like you might really like it. <laughs> I have to hold on to my youth, and I can do it. I can do it through you can Danielle. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's like all these simple pieces, but the way that you style it, like it's so dressed up, right? Like again, yeah. I picked this one with like the dress and the leather jacket. Simple dress. I mean, she's just wearing like string around her neck, essentially. Mm -hmm. But the leather jacket puts this all together, you know. And then like. Over here, this outfit. I mean, her hairstyle really carries it. It's super basic, but it looks so good. And I was like, I know you said you wanted to get away from super basic stuff, but I feel like yeah. you don't have to push yourself too hard if you weren't comfortable with it. Because making a big change, like, suddenly can be really nerve-wracking. So That is true. I see the vision. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And I know you said that you wear, like, a lot of black right now. Yeah. Um, but maybe starting off with like some more basic colors like blues and whites and like maybe a little bit of red here and there might be a good way to like start breaking out of like that mold. Would you say uh, your closet is pretty colorful? <laughs> no, I wear... 90% of my closet is black. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's, that's what you like. That's what you like. Yeah, I, I have like some pink stuff. But I don't really like the way like that certain shades of pink look on me too much. Oh. But I, I'm I'm very guilty of having a mostly black and white wardrobe. <laughs> Honestly, I I think I'm the same way but with the color red. It's like a lot of red is more warmer, so it kind of makes me look dead. <laughs> but I like the more like, what is it like cooler toned? Like cooler bloody, toned. bloody red colors, the deeper red. Yeah, I was gonna say like maybe bloody red would be like a good, like, yeah, it sounds, it sounds so edgy. Like, yeah, but I think like the <laughs> yeah. tone of uh, like that blood red color. Yeah, and it's like still on the darker side too. So it won't be like as, as like bold to wear, but. Like a nice little mix of like something that's bold but not too bold to like draw super attention to you. I like it. I'm glad. I don't know if this was helpful to you at all or not. <laughs> no, but... it was helpful. I'm glad. I feel more confident and like I I feel like I just just having someone as fashionable as Leah just sit me down and be like, you can like, you don't have to... Simple is okay. You can just elevate it. Yeah. Because I felt like... I don't know. I felt like my fashion style was so plain, you know? Like, comfy and plain. And when I would try to accessorize, it'd be like one tiny, tiny necklace. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, this gives me a lot more ideas. Yeah, I, I feel like... You know, if you did want to change your style completely to be like, you know, one way or another, it would be okay. But I would say like, mm, maybe go slowly because it's like a really big change to like one day be like, oh yeah, like I, you know, dress in like pants and comfy stuff. And then the next day be like, I want to wear full Lolita every single day. <laughs> like it's too, it's too nerve wracking. And there's like, you know, maybe like mentally you might be nervous. So I think like, Starting with like, how do I say, like being more confident and like learning to like accessorize and stuff, your current style. And then, you know, maybe in the future you'll be like, eh, I want to change my, my wardrobe over. But at least <laughs> you'll have like a little bit of confidence and experience with that too. Thanks, Leah. Yeah. You're so cute. I love this. 
I, I wanted to put together something good for you. Because, I don't know, I had fun making this too. The whole time I was like on Pinterest and I was like looking for stuff that I felt like was similar. And I was like, ah, oh, I think Ember would look so good in this. Or like, ah, oh, this kind of reminds me of Ember style. <laughs> oh, so thoughtful. I'm going to melt away now. <laughs> no, no dying. Please, please, please. <laughs> If there was a, if there was like a fashion style that would be a little bit more out there for me, but you would rec or that you could recommend, do you have anything in mind for that? Like just for me to like even look at, not necessarily try, but um, something that's a little more out there, but you might like. It can be. Like, the first thing that comes to my mind is, like, uh, I don't know, like, the exact name of it, the style, but, um, pieces that you would find on, like, a website called Civarize. Brands what like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll write this down for you. <laughs> Civarize, uh, brands like Travas Tokyo, uh, Dimoir, they can be very pricey, but, um, th like... It's either like really feminine but like edgy or like um you know more edgy and like um kind of kind of grungy. It's out there. It's out Ooh. there, but the pieces are really cute. I think you, you might at the very least appreciate them. Oh, thank you. Wait, I think my furniture's floating now. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> We've gone full circle. Zabumafu, Zabumafu, Zabumafu. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you the website with the stuff on it. Thanks, Leah. Yeah, of course. It's kind of punk. Yeah, kind of punk, kind of like return to scene. But like, um, I think it's really, really, really cute. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I look at it all the time and I'm like, one day I'll afford this. I feel, I feel like shopping with my next paycheck now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. I feel like, okay, I'm going to go get a leather jacket and I'm going to get, I'm going to go get overalls, but not overalls. <laughs> <laughs> that outfit is so cute. I cannot it's get it out so of my head. Cute. It's so cute. It arm warmers so too. Cute. Arm warmers, Ooh. leg warmers. I'm going to go get arm warmers. Wait, oh man, it's getting hot. Do you still wear like in warmer months? Do you still wear arm warmers or leg warmers? I I do. I, I don't think I've... Even if it's hot out, I can't think of the last time I wore a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> Wait, you don't sweat easily or anything? Um, I mean... I think... I, I mean, I, I get hot. Maybe about hmm. average? Oh. I... I think I have to go get all of my sweat glands like removed or whatever <laughs> but you're also like okay isn't like friggin i don't i don't know like i hear texas gets really hot it does maybe that's why my croc shrank no <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean okay also i don't really go out that much especially during the summer so yeah same here it's better that way it's better that way yeah i do remember i went to uh, Disneyland in like Ooh. August and I wore a shirt with arm warmers and I was like yeah it's not gonna be that hot so I wore like a skirt and a shirt with Ooh. arm warmers and Doc Martens and I was so hot but like because of the fashion right I wasn't gonna take my arm warmers <laughs> off <laughs> for the outfit yeah, yeah. isn't it is it August one of like the hotter months too? Yeah, and it's so humid too. So ugh, it was so gross. I was like, I have to stick it out. <laughs> the last was... time I went to Disney, man, did you ever go on the, the cars ride? Yeah. I think that's the best ride. It's so cool. It goes so fast. I really <laughs> like it. Are you pretty brave with like roller coasters though? Um, I, I think so. I've never been to an amusement park that has crazy oh. roller coasters. So. Well, uh, there was like a time when uh, we went on a trip like Rie, Iri, Uruka, me. 
We went、mm. on a trip, and、uh, we went to this one park that had like a bunch of roller coasters. That looked pretty fun. That sounds fun. Wait, have you been on the. You know the Guardians of the Galaxy that used to be like the Tower of Terror? <gasps> yeah, that's my favorite that? ride. You're not scared of that? <laughs> okay, I was scared of it when it was like the Tower of Terror because I don't like elevators. But when they made it Guardians of the Galaxy,、um, my, my favorite Marvel character is Stinky Raccoon Man. <laughs> so I was like, I have to force myself to like this. So I, I forced myself to go on it and I ended up liking it. So then I go on it all the time. <laughs> I had no idea how scary it would be. So I went on there and there were a bunch of kids next to me. So I asked them, I was like, oh, have you been on this before? Like, is it scary? And her kids were like, no, it's like not scary at all. Like, <laughs> you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Oh my god, the panic! I was like, oh, okay, she's gonna drop once. No! <laughs> no! Because <laughs> the old Tower of Terror ride was maybe like one or two drops. But no, no. I kept going! And by the time I got off, someone was like, yeah, that was actually the scariest ride out of all the rides there. <laughs> <laughs> they have this one, like, Thing that they do on that ride for、uh, Halloween, where they turn it into like the scary version. Oh, <gasps> and it plays like heavy metal music. Wait, that sounds awesome. It is, but it's like way scarier because like it drops a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's kind of fun because it's like you, like I, I don't know, I head bang and like, yeah, this is so fun. I like the music, but then like I'm dying if I think about <laughs> it for too long. I'm like gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, and they take a photo of you. Imagine. Head banging and your hair is <laughs> all over your face. It probably looks so <laughs> stupid. I don't know. It's so fun. Yeah, Monsters After Dark, man. It's so fun. And all the workers put on like these bloody vests and stuff too. And I'm like, how is this allowed at Disneyland? It's so fun. <laughs> wow. I want to go to Disneyland go. one day with、yeah. everybody in phase. I want to go. I want to go. That would be so fun. We can head bang together. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Take you. I'll take you on the the new Star Wars ride too. Ooh, have you been? Is it cool? Yeah, it's cool. I like I like watching people go on it for the first time ever because it's really unexpected. <laughs> I remember, um, I will I like my my family went on it ahead of time for me. And so when I wrote it for the first time, they were all staring at me the whole time. And I was like, <laughs> "What the heck do you want from me?" But then after we went on it and I like experienced it, I was like, "Oh, so that's why." Ooh, it's probably like the coolest ride I've ever been on. Is that your favorite ride out of all the? I think it's the、Or、coolest. The... But I like I like Guardians. The Guardians one. I almost had. I feel like. My heart was gonna jump out of my <laughs> the the mom next to me that I asked if it was scary. She was like, it was also my first time. In the photo that came out, she, you could see her face was white. She was gripping the seat. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I want to go. Let's make Phase Disney happen. <laughs> Phase Disney one day. One, one day. day. I think it could be a lot of fun. Yeah, I want to go with you. I want to go with. I want to take Tenma to Disneyland so、oh, yeah. bad one day, so badly. I want to hear Tenma scream at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to go. I want to go so 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 badly with her. Don't <laughs> make the rides hear her. I I know that she like she she's mentioned like. Wanting to go before two, so I really want to see her reaction. Cause Tenma really likes Disney too, so I feel like it could be a lot of fun. It would be so fun. Okay, make it happen. Make it happen. Fishman, pay for us to go to Disney once again. It's a bonding trip, please. <laughs> please. Go to Disney、so、in Tokyo.、Good. I'm gonna go to Disney in Tokyo in a couple weeks. You said you're gonna go in a couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> have fun! I will. I will. I'm gonna bring back souvenirs for everyone too. Tell us all about it. Yeah, I will.、Ooh. I will. I'm. I'm excited. 
Are you going to the the was it was it the Disney Sea or the Disney Tokyo? Uh, or both? I I I've been to them before, but I like the sea mm. one. I'm like uh uh friends I'm going with, it's their first time ever, so I was like maybe this experience Ooh. will be more fun for them. I like the little mermaid area there. It's like underground, it's so cool. Oh, have fun. Take lots of photos. Yeah. I feel like a mom. Like, have fun, be safe, take photos. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to meet up with like, with like, Clara and like, you and Nasa and Michiru and everybody else. But I don't know if it's possible. I feel weird asking like, hey, I'm I'm here. Come say hi to me. Can we, can we say hi? I feel awkward. So I'm like, huh. It's okay. It's like... Once in a lifetime opportunity, right? It doesn't hurt. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll ask them. Yeah. I go outside. <laughs> yeah, and then one day Ember's gonna come too, and then we're all gonna, we're all gonna, yeah. When we're big and famous in Japan, then, then um, we're all gonna hang out in Japan and eat yummy food together. <laughs> That's a dream. <laughs> Dreams become reality. One Phase day. Phase connect 20, 20, 20, 30. <laughs> One we'll, day. We'll be, we'll be big and famous and popular in Japan in 2036. Mm. Why, why is everyone surprised? Leah goes outside. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes. Sometimes. When it's worth it, okay? When it's worth it. Yeah, when it's worth it. And otherwise, no. It's no. It's better that way. <laughs> it's safer that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for um the collab today, Amber. I know it was our first time collabing, but I had a lot of fun and I, I really want to talk with you more. Yeah, yeah. I'm always around. Just let me know. We'll we'll watch that movie together. Not the Human Centipede, please. No, no, no. The other one. The other one. <laughs> the other one. The other one. But thank you so much for having me, Leah. I had a lot of fun, and thank you for taking the time out to upgrade my fashion. Of course, I I have fun doing these for everybody. So I when um. I did the last one. I was like, I want to ask Ember next. So thank you for accepting and letting me do this with you. Of course. Thanks, Leah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any announcements that you want to make before you leave, or um, what your next stream is? Mm, nope. Nope. Just, just chilling. Just chilling. Chilling. I'm going. I'm actually going out of town soon, in like two days. So. Oh. <laughs> bye, everyone. <laughs> have fun. Stay safe. Stay safe. Behave, have fun. Yeah, have Thanks fun. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Bye, bye bye. Amber. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. bye. Okay, I have to I have to close this now. Also, it just looks. Oh, wait, she left. <gasps> Yatta. Okay. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm Mia. Hello, everybody. Hi. Thank you for coming to the collaboration stream today. Thank you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. I like doing these. If you have recommendations for the next person in Face Connect for me to harass, then um, please tell me, and I will. I will. I will. I will. Um, yeah, yeah. I will. I will listen to you, and I will take your advice. <laughs> um, I'm gonna raid Hina. 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 Toko Hina. Okay. Thank you everybody for coming today. There's no stream tomorrow, so I will be seeing you guys all on Thursday now. Wow, wow, Thursday. Otsuya, everybody, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.